An important partnership between Alex Davis and Liam Livingston took Lancashire to the brink of parity after Dean Elgar's ton had given Somerset a 169-run lead on day two at Old Trafford. Wickets tumbled on an entertaining first day at Old Trafford, which saw Somerset bowl out Lancashire for just 109, before Dean Elgar battled to edge the visitors in front at the close of play, the score 153 for 8. The South African came out to bat on day two with Leach, who picked up a series of boundaries to get Somerset off to a good start. Elgar took a while to get going, but kept the scoreboard ticking along. Lancashire grew frustrated as Leach reached his well-deserved 50, edging Clark behind for four. The very next ball, though, Clark found the outside edge again, this time the ball going straight into the hands of Davis, ending Leach and Elgar's impressive 96-run partnership. Elgar was on 97 as Groneval came to the crease, and the tail-ender managed to support the opening batsman to his century, and the two batted until lunch to take the score to 276 for nine. After the break, Elgar and Groneveld only managed to put on two more runs before Groneveld was bowled by Jarvis for 20, ending a useful last wicket partnership of 37 runs. Elgar carried his bat after a wonderful innings of 113 to help Somerset create a healthy first innings lead of 169. Davis and Hamid came out to begin Lancashire's reply and Hasib showed good intent. In the seventh over of the innings though, the young England opener edged a ball from Gregory straight to Trago at first slip and was sent on his way for seven. In came Proctor, but he only managed four before he lost his stumps and was sent back to the pavilion, Gregory picking up his second wicket. As Livingston strode out to the crease, the hosts were in trouble, but as he had done in the first innings, the young captain showed resilience and took on the Somerset attack. He batted through to T with Davis to take the score to 51 for two, Lancashire still trailing by 118 runs. The pair continued to play positively as they came out for the evening session and both batsmen played some wonderful strokes as they cruised to their 100th partnership. Davis was first to his half century and Livingston passed 50 shortly before the end of play and the pair left the field at the end of the day with the score 152 for two, Lancashire only trailing by 17 runs with eight wickets remaining. A good end to the day then for Lancashire who had endured a frustrating time in the field before losing some early wickets. Davis and Livingston will return on day three on 78 not out and 57 not out respectively in this evenly poised game.